Hi friends, welcome to Arc Tutorials. This is a brand new series that I'm starting on this channel. This is MeanStack complete live project development from scratch. The idea behind this series is to help you learn the entire application development on MeanStack from scratch end to end. A lot of you have been requesting me to use this opportunity to build a real-time application to show you how complex, how enterprise applications, how any real-time projects are built. We will learn everything end-to-end -end from scratch in this particular series. This is part one where we will introduce you to the mean stack application. We'll talk about the motivation. We'll talk about the frameworks we are going to build and also how we can improve it this together. Let's get started. Welcome to Arc Tutorials. Please support uh, this particular initiative, this particular series by subscribing to my channel, by liking the tutorials and the videos. Please keep bringing that healthy, positive discussion to the comment section. Use this opportunity to ask your doubts and we as a community will help each other to grow. Also, please do share this uh, channel and tutorials with your friends. Also, if you like the series, if you like the playlist, please consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. All right, so now let's talk about what is the motivation behind this particular series and playlist. So the main purpose and motivation behind this project is learning. That's the only motivation. And why is it important? Because as part of different playlists in the channel, you would have seen that I've covered Angular, MongoDB, Node, Express, Bootstrap, Material Design. The idea is to take all of that knowledge, theoretical knowledge and put it to work. And the only way to do is doing hands-on, right? So this, this is an opportunity for all of us to do hands-on coding so that you master the skill, learn the tactics. Also, the most important thing is learning by doing. So I encourage you to kindly start coding with me. That's when you would learn. That's when you would master the skill. A lot of concepts you have understood, like say some advanced concepts like route guards, or say authorization, authentication, or HTTP calls, or complex forms, right? Um, so talk about any concept. You know the concepts. Now we will use this opportunity in this particular project to build that and see that in action live. We will also use this opportunity to learn and implement new tools and frameworks. For example, a lot of you have been asking me to use NGRX, store, sign on for mocking, etc., etc. So we will try and bring all of those into this particular playlist. It's a very complex piece. Usually projects are done by a team of 10, 20 people. Uh, here I am doing it alone, but I know that I'm not alone. You will also be with me. You will encourage me. You will support me. So I look forward for that. It's going to be an interesting ride. All right. So what are we going to learn? What is the main foundation of this particular uh, series and playlist? So some of the key frameworks that we will implement will be on um, MongoDB, Express.js, Angular, Node.js, right? And also, as part of bonus, uh, we'll also learn about Bootstrap, Jasmine, Protractor, Mocha, and Sign-On. These are some of the frameworks that I am planning to implement and bring it into this particular series. But if you have any certain uh, requirement or if you think certain frameworks should be covered, please do let me know. I'll be happy to implement that as well. All right, so now let's talk about a little bit about the live project that we will be building, right? So the project that we will be building throughout this particular series will be called a loan manager, right? Um, it's a loan management system, right? And it, this would cover a lot of details. It's a complicated enterprise application. I've chosen this project intentionally, a large complex one, so that that is the only way to learn. Some of the features that we'll cover, um, again, I'll cover in the next episode, I will show you a demo of the screens and wireframes. But today, let me just tell you some of the high level features. Um, we'll have an authentication, authorization, users, dashboard, loans, customers, invoices, reports, settings. And these features are not uh, written on stone, right? Which means that they will evolve as we progress in the series. And also we will see the whole idea is to learn. So we will keep bringing new ideas, new features, new frameworks, tools. Um, the idea is to implement as much possible, learn all the concepts in working condition, right? That means the more you see it in action, the more you learn. 
finally so sit back start coding enjoy the journey right so the journey is the reward don't think about completing the project that's secondary the main important thing here is that you learn how we are building the entire project from scratch why we are doing certain things in certain way what is the best practices right what does generic code means how do you write optimized code performance wise how do you write beautiful maintainable code that's what you're going to learn this project is all about learning frameworks learning how to use concepts it's not about reaching the destination it's about the journey we'll keep iterating this project and features and ideas right so we'll have to do a lot of refactoring along so that's something that you have to learn if you're joining any new project in the middle right so if you join any project in any company where that has been in development for quite some time you would have to understand the code you'll have to refactor it that's what you would learn in this uh, journey also please use the comment section to request for features like if you want certain features for me to cover i will be happy to do that if you want me to incorporate certain uh, you know improvements ideas that you have please feel free to drop them in the comment section this is a project you and me we are doing it together right any um, large company any event whenever such project is done there would be around five ten people minimum they will be implementing it here i'm alone so i need all your help support and encouragement so that we carry this journey throughout so join me in the next episode where i will show you the demo of application i do, I've, I've not built the application i just have html screens that i've built uh, that would be our starting point right we need some starting point to do so i've built some wireframes html templates uh, We'll take a look at them we'll run through understand the project and then from the third episode we will start actual hands-on coding setting up application from ground up and build the entire application in this particular series thank you so much for joining i hope you will be joining me in this particular series and enjoy if you do please give a thumbs up to the video please do share this like the video please do subscribe to my channel and if you like, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode. We'll go over the demo of the application. Thank you.